So if you're just getting started out with Shopify or in the e-commerce space, or you're thinking about starting an online store, this video is just for you. We're gonna go over my top five tips for beginners who are just getting started. So stay tuned. If you're new here, my name is Elle McCann and I have been a Shopify expert for over six years now. If you've already been a subscriber to this channel for a while, make sure to comment below and say hey because we really want to support you and we appreciate you so much for subscribing to this channel. Okay, so we are gonna be talking about specifically tips for beginners who are just getting started with e-commerce. And as I said at the beginning of this video, I've got five tips for you. So my first tip is to start with your ideal customer in mind. So if you're starting to figure out what products you're gonna sell or maybe you're making the products, start first by thinking about who these products are for. What does your ideal customer look like? Is it a female, male? How old are they? Where are they located? What kind of education do they have? What are their interests or what do they dislike? Start thinking of what exactly your ideal customer likes and who they are so it's easier for you to market to them once your store launches. Okay, so that goes into my second tip, which is to actually create your brand to speak to that ideal customer. I see this happen so many times of people get so involved in creating their store that they've designed their store to go towards their interests and their personal style. But if you're not your ideal customer, then that doesn't really work, does it? No. So instead, start thinking about who your ideal customer is and then design your branding to fit with them. So you can have your branding speak to them through your website design, through your copy, through your advertising images or social media images. You wanna make sure that at any point that someone may connect with your brand or your business, that they're gonna feel like they're either definitely your ideal customer or they're not your ideal customer and then they'll just move on. You don't wanna waste time on people that aren't a good fit for you and are never gonna purchase from you. So if you niche down and make sure that you're speaking to a specific target audience, you're a lot more likely to turn them into customers and then raving fans. Okay, so my third tip is to actually start building out that audience before you even launch your store. So many times people are so focused on building their store and getting everything right. However, it's kind of like they launch their store to crickets because no one even knows that it exists. Start first by actually building out your social media platforms and building up that audience. Start getting that community engaged, posting content that's going to relate to them so that once you finally do launch your store, you have an audience already that is more likely to go ahead and purchase from you. So you're gonna get more sales at the beginning of you launching your store. Okay, so my fourth tip is to make sure that you're creating a marketing strategy. So for example, if you were to launch a brick and mortar business, you would have to get a loan for that most likely. You would have to have a strategy that you go to the bank to get that loan and tell them exactly what products you're gonna be selling, how you're gonna sell them, how you're gonna get people to your store, where your location is gonna be, and you're gonna to have to have all that planned out. But a lot of times with online stores, people don't think about any of that. They just think, if I launch it, they will come. And spoiler alert, that's not true. So you need to come up with a marketing strategy of how you're actually gonna get traffic to your online store once you launch. Now we have a couple different videos focused on that and we also have a traffic blueprint guide that goes through step-by-step -step of how to create a marketing plan and strategy for your store as well as how to set up paid advertising and how to actually set up your ad sequences. So we're not gonna go through that in this video, but if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to check out the link below and you can go ahead and check out that guide. Okay, so my fifth and final tip for beginners that are just getting started with e-commerce is to go ahead and think through of how you're gonna turn those customers once you get them into raving fans. The process doesn't end once they purchase from you one time. Your goal is to get them to purchase from you multiple times if that's okay for your product. So think through of how after they purchase from you, how you're gonna turn them into a repeat buyer. So this could be done by using a rewards program so that you're rewarding them for multiple purchases. This could be done through email marketing so that you're staying engaged. 
or it can go into your actual packaging. You know, when you send your order out, are you gonna include any freebies or inserts that are going to wow your customers when they get that package? Are you gonna wrap it in a cool way, which is gonna be great for Instagram and people are gonna be taking photos? Think through of your ideal customer experience from the beginning of who they are to how to get them to your store to then how to wow them once they purchase from you. If you do this and you think of this ahead of time, this is going to really help you not only send traffic to your store, but have them to continue coming back again and again to purchase from you. So I would love to know what you think about this video. And if you're a beginner, make sure to comment below and let us know what are your questions when you're just getting started with e-commerce and we would love to help you. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet so that you're the first to be notified anytime we put out new videos all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. Thanks for watching.